up Tom Planner, welcome. I see a folder. Is there anything in there for us? Um, I, I do need to ask for a small increase uh, to what you see. Uh, that the uh, dues, re dues increase request letter from the uh, Rockingham Planning Commission the other day, and they have had to go up on their dues uh, approximately 3%. Um, so that would mean uh, an increase for what I had a budgeted of approximately $300 more. So you're okay. saying it should be 16940 So it would be, well, the dues are 11 Eleven thousand six hundred and forty is what I have in there. Um, the the bill is for eleven thousand nine hundred and forty six. Eleven thousand nine hundred and forty six. So yeah, the the five thousand is for technical assistance. That's part of that line so item. We need, oh, okay. we need to add three oh six. Three oh six, yeah. What so the total of that line is 16. That's under contracted, contracted services. Contracted services. As long as you're on that, Jamie, could you tell us what the value of this uh, is? I mean, what value does the town derive out of uh, this uh, dues? Well, I just happen to have their their work program uh, in front of me. Um, they do a variety of things for the town. Um, Transportation planning assistance, uh, safe routes to school technical assistance, uh, TASE volunteer driver program assistance. Um, this year they started the initial work on the New Hampshire Coastal Byway, uh, New Hampshire 1A, New Hampshire 1B corridor management plan update. Um, they've completed uh, a uh, parking study for the Hampton Beach Area Commission. Uh, we're in the midst of um, <coughs> completing a feasibility study for the Hampton Intermodal Transportation Center, the Route 101, Route 1 um, interchange. Uh, they've also conducted New Hampshire Stream Crossing Assessment Inventory for Hazard Mitigation Planning, uh, Technical Assistance and Participation in the Coastal Adaptation Work Group, which is the study and analysis, sea level rise, um, and, and preparedness for, for coastal hazards. Um, they've done mapping. Uh, they've done, uh, they're, they're coordinating the East Coast Greenway, um, multi-use trail study um, implementation, and the uh, which includes the estate acquisition of the of the Hampton Branch Rail right away. Um, they're also participating in our town center uh, planning advisory committee. Um, and as I said, they've created maps recently for for zoning and planning work that we're um, we're in the midst of. So. So if we don't pay this dues, they're not going to do any of that. Well. What, they cut out a lot of technical assistance. That's what I'm asking is what what value do we get by paying this line item? That's what my question is. I'm not asking what Rockingham yeah. Planning Commission does. Just what the value that the town is receiving by paying this dues. You're getting all that technical advice. Is that whole list? They wouldn't do any of that if we didn't pay this dues. Right. right. Correct. Thank you. Okay. Joe, I'm going to start with you on this side. I'm all set. All right. All set. Thank you. No questions. Okay, I just have a couple and something I want to point out. Flat is flat. This is a flat budget with the exception of the three hundred and four dollars, the three hundred and six dollars. Mm -hmm. And that's not that's out of his control. Fee's gone up. But what I want to point out, something we miss a lot of times, is that we have income here, kids. You know, this is this is a area where we actually bring money in from permits mm -hmm. and we're going crazy building so <coughs> the estimated revenue for 2013 is 12,000 do you expect that to grow 
in 2014? Well, yeah, there's, there's quite a bit of development going on, as we know. So. Okay. So this could actually end up effectually being less yeah. than what it was last year um, when we consider the offset of additional income. I see here, too, the public purchase price will offset printing costs of zoning books. Is that included right now in the 12000 yes, yes. Okay, so we currently sell them. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I have no problem with this. Moving on, Dave. No questions. One question, Jamie. I guess I always ask the same question of you. <laughs> when are we going to get rid of that old shell station? <laughs> when you buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Here, where's my wallet? <laughs> Um, hopefully soon, like I said uh, earlier, we are uh, undertaking this planning study for the downtown area. It's going to involve hopefully new zoning regulation that will hopefully encourage <coughs> redevelopment yeah. uh, include, and, that, and that parcels it in the, uh, the, the new zoning area that we're <coughs> looking at. So. Are you sitting on that planning committee that, that was was in the paper this morning. Was yeah, that's that's the uh, brilliant advisory article written committee on, the, on it this morning yeah. in the paper. Yeah, you're on that. I, I formed that. Yeah, I, okay, it's good. part of the grant that I applied for <coughs> on behalf good. of the planning board, and <coughs> good. I'm the staff person for the yeah. committee. Excellent. Good. Good job. Thanks. I have nothing to say. Thanks. Sunny. Oh, Mark. Quick question. I asked this. I think of a another uh, another last week. But when I look, Jamie, at um, budgeted and then expended already, and I'm looking at, say, for instance, the advertising account, four grand to twelve. It's showing. You know, we've still got twenty eight hundred dollars there. I is this something that's heavy on the last few months, or is that something that didn't show this year? It all depends on. Um if they're having hearings and so the advertising is in essence part of the income yes. that comes in because we've got the zoning zoning ordinance right. amendment right. public hearings coming up that we put the bill for it's not part of the application fee you know for the development project so that usually comes in the end of the year December time frame so they're legal, they're legal notices and the they get notices. very expensive okay and then that same thing with the supplies and expenses line we're going to spend twice what we have spent all year. Yeah, I know it's only 600 bucks, but we're going to spend twice what we've spent all year in the last three months of the year. Well, you look at last year and you spent $1,100. So, you know, I think it's it's a consistent number with, with mm -hmm. what they've done in the past. So it moves up and down depending depending on what you're hitting for, for here, yeah. et cetera. I, just, I was just looking at those two lines saying, hey, we're looking for $300 rather than increase that. I know it's piddly, but by three hundred dollars, do we have that right there in either of those accounts to to cover that extra dues? That was my question. Yeah, I could see where you're going with that. The only thing is, the dues themselves are probably not going to go down. No, that's fixed. I understand. That's yeah. fixed. So by giving the increase to the dues line here, that's the starting point for the next budget. And then if we see that you didn't use the rest of that money in supplies and those categories, we can look at that later on. But I think this is an attempt to at least put things where they belong. I know, and I just look at this end of the year kind of thing, and I, I, you know, in a school system that I'm in too, you know, we do a great job budgeting all year, and then we go, wow, we got all that money left, let's go out and you know, we now we can spend it, and if if that is kind of the case, you know, we've been scrimping and saving all year, and and now we kind of have stocked up for the beginning of the next year. But it kind of lets makes me think that there is some money there that mm -hmm. we haven't been spending. That at the end of the year we say it's in the line, let's spend it. Um, where that that could that three hundred dollars could be absorbed. So okay, Jenny, I'm with Mark. I mean, and this is no reflection on the planning office, this is no. no reflection. If we have a budget so tight that we can't find $346, and believe me, we're only, we only can do a line, we go line by line, but we have a bottom line budget that we approve. If we can't find $346 in that, we're, we've got some 
problems. So, I mean, you know, it, to increase it, and I know the Rockingham County Commission does a great job. I know all the work that they do for us and, and have done, but I also think somewhere in the budget there's $346. Okay, so to that end, do I hear a motion? Well, if I might follow up on some questions while she's preparing that motion. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, uh, who, who do you report to? In the hierarchy of the town government, who do you report to? Well, so town manager is my supervisor. Thank you. Yeah. And um, the one thing that I'm, and you don't have to answer this, but it doesn't make any sense to me. The Rockingham Planning Commission is a county entity. We pay county taxes. Why do we have to pay dues <coughs> as well as pay taxes? Any any thoughts on that? Well, they're 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 not a they're not a county, and so it's Rockingham Regional Planning Committee. They're not Rockingham County Regional. So, so they're not part of the so county government. And, they're and, part of state and, government. And their funding comes from federal sort of. It comes from transportation. They're a separate entity, federal I think. Highway. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, that's what I'm curious. I mean, they are, are they a state entity or a county entity no, or no, no neither, neither. Are they a, a totally separate entity? Yes. They exist outside of our government structure. Yes. yes. Wow. So the Rockingham Planning Commission is not a government entity. No. NGO, I guess. Okay. Thank you. Okay. We well. actually never even moved this. Yeah, no, yeah we exactly. We haven't yet. No. no, Jenny's working on Jenny's it. Jenny's going to move. <laughs> <laughs> we should have moved the number before we started discussing it. <laughs> 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 okay. Madam Chairman, well, I hope move the sum of 37... Th Thousand seven ninety three. Mm hmm And a second on that? I'll second that motion. Second. But that doesn't include the three hundred and six. All right. Six. And since we've already had discussion, <laughs> I guess I should ask if I have any amendments out What there. was the number that was moved? The original thirty seven seven ninety three. The number that appears in the book. Yeah. Less on page twenty nine. We've absorbed the discussion yeah. about the three hundred and six dollars. Three six or three forty six. Three oh six. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. It was three oh six. Three oh six. Right. Three oh six. I can do it in my head. But the motion is not offering anything. We don't add, have an right. amendment. We have. Mark the number would be thirty eight oh nine nine. If you were to add three oh six, it would be thirty eight oh nine nine. Okay. But B's motion does not include that. No, this motion that's sitting here right now does not include that. Okay. So in discussion, do we have an amendment? To that original number of thirty-seven thousand seven hundred and ninety-three. I'll make an amendment to add three hundred and six dollars to the bottom figure of thirty-seven seven ninety-three for the increase of dues for the Rockingham <coughs> County Planning Commission. It's like county. I Rockingham second Planning that. Commission. Rockingham. Which Planning brings which brings it's easily confused. Would you like the, mm -hmm. the bottom number? Which brings the bottom yes. figure to I believe sixteen nine forty-six. No, no, no. Thirty-eight thousand. Thirty-eight oh nine. I'm sorry, I was looking at this. Thirty-eight thousand ninety-nine dollars. Thirty-eight oh ninety-nine. Okay. Which brings the bottom figure to thirty-eight thousand ninety-nine dollars. Do we have a second on that amendment? Second. Okay. All right. All those in favor of the amendment to increase it three hundred and six dollars so at the bottom line will be thirty eight thousand ninety nine dollars all those in favor keep your hands up mr. selector I'm sorry it's not up it's I see that okay Four, five, six no's. and here. all those opposed all right, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a tie. It's six and seven and seven. And seven. There's 14 people here. 14 people? Then it mm. will fail. Yeah. Okay. Remove the original figure. Okay. 37,700. Well, that's already been, yeah, that's already It's already been on the perfect. table. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we go back to I, the I, I still do not understand why we're paying uh, money to an NGO uh, when we have a full-time planner, we have a planning board, 
we both. I think the answer both. to that, I, I don't want to say it's simple, it's complicated, but simple at the same time. We get a lot of services. We've gone around with that one. You're new on the board. This I know we get a lot of services, here. but we I don't. We get a lot of services. We get a lot of value out of well, the commission. Well, that's we another question whether we are getting value out of it or not. I, I don't see that value. I do, in fact, have gone to one or two of the public meetings. Uh, so I'm not I'm totally uh, blind to the activity that's taking place there. But I do not see, I don't, I don't see the rubber meeting the road and us getting value out of what's, what's being talked about. I see a lot of talk, a lot of plans. I, I, that would be a policy change. Tim, so I think it's not a policy change. There's a line item here. Well, it's I'm a line to. item, but it would be a policy change to no longer go with Rockingham planning. So would you like I to think make your option. Can we vote on? Yes, I would. I'd like, to, I'd, like to, I'd like to. I'd like to. I'd like to make an amendment then which will not so be seconded to reduce the line item by eleven thousand six hundred and forty dollars by uh, zeroing out the dues to the Rockingham Planning Commission, which is not a government entity. It's a non-government organization. Okay. Do I have a second? Okay, the amendment fails for lack of a second. We're back to the original. All right, again. Uh, can I make a comment? You know, the RPC has grants. They're doing <coughs> floodplain studies. They're doing emergency management studies. They're doing climate change studies that impacts Hampton. You know, all those areas are beyond the okay. scope of the town planner. It Thank you. Being done regionally. Thank you, Sandy. Right. The motion failed. We're going to move on. We're going to vote on yep. the original number, okay? Oh. $37,793. All those in favor? Opposed? Anybody abstain? I'm okay. Any other abstaining? No, I'm opposing. Any abstention? I have one for the amendment. I have one for the amendment. Okay. All right. So you have three, three no's, no abstentions, and everyone else was for it. All right. <coughs> Thank you on that one, Jamie. Thanks, Jamie. Oh, we have to do page thirty-three. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, getting away that fast. Page thirty-three. Somebody to move the amount $81,898. So moved. Seconded by Sonny. Okay, want to talk to us about this, Jamie? <coughs> no change, uh, status quo, except for. Well, we have a budget in the, uh, 2013 of 74,000. Now we're going up to 81. Yeah, the um, I am proposing uh, replacement equipment, a Canon wide format printer. Um, our current Xerox printer, printer copier, is uh, really at its useful life span. Uh, been informed recently that Xerox is no longer uh, making those printers, copiers. Um, so, thought it was a good opportunity to upgrade. <coughs> uh, we talked recently about um, scanning. Um, all the plans and the documents that we have in the office to try to free up some space and to make um, more efficient office, more customer friendly, customer service friendly, um, you know, with the ease of access <coughs> of these new uh, copiers, scanners, uh, printers. Get right on it. It's an easy to use um, uh, format where you can pull up the plans, you know, with just a couple of touches of the screen. And um, we don't, you know, it would save a lot of searching through files and, and uh, you know, just save time and effort. Um, and 
like I said, it's just it's time for an upgrade based on what we have. You know, we, the the printer we've had has <coughs> given us a lot of a good good years of service. But <coughs> it's time for an upgrade. So, how how long have we had the one we have? Uh, well, I've been here since 2005. Uh, it was here when I got here. I, I think it was like 2004, 2003, maybe. Has it reached the point now that is it the scanning capabilities that you're looking to have? That yeah, that that's the the the. the I mean, is the that primary the benefit is to the one bell and whistle that we don't have? Right. I mean, otherwise we could keep going the way we can keep going and have you sit on a box. <coughs> um, I would ask. <coughs> Mr. Bean to add something into this if you could. I see as we're going from department to department um, this wave of storing and scanning and using technology to give us space. To give us what? Give us space. When we look at things like this. Storage space. Storage space. Here. When we look at numbers like this and we're it's seeing them. And we're hearing about part-time help and things like that, a lot of it is to find a different way to store our documents. And it would be nice to have your opinion on this because you've probably gone into it a little bit more than we have. The life that's left with the copy that we have, um, this move to scan and store in a different way the documents that we have out here. Because that's a big expense right now, especially if what we have is working. Well, we heard we heard uh, last evening from the uh, Department of Public Works, uh, their preventive maintenance schedule had been uh, simply files. I don't know who does files anymore, but paper files. Mm -hmm. and they've undergone that. They sent um, uh, personnel down to a conference uh, to, to uh, uh, bring technology to the floor on that, which is going to increase in uh, state and uh, the utility and the investment in the gear. So uh, I, I applaud people that are upgrading technology and uh, it should be fully integrated and there should be uh, um, town manager and uh, uh, leadership oversight on that under a collective umbrella. But I support that and that it's the way to go. You heard from the library uh, how they whittled down the expense. It's becoming cheaper and cheaper and cheaper and it ends uh, ends up as a, a force multiplier for the tax dollar and for service. Mm -hmm. okay. Questions? Well, let's start on one end or the other, okay? Joe, let's start with you. Um, I see you got Xerox equipment now. Why are you going to a Canon? Well, like I said, the, the Xerox is phasing out. So they don't have something that's format. doesn't kind of have nothing that's comparable. Right. Okay. I'm all set. I see in uh, 2013 uh, you have a budget for part-time wages of zero, yet we have actuals at 533. Could you elaborate on that entry? Um, could you repeat, repeat the question? All right. Yes, I see under part-time wages, for 2013 you have budgeted zero, or more literally a dash. And the actuals are showing five hundred and thirty three dollars. Could you elaborate on that, please? Go ahead. Um, I would have to say that it probably is an error in accounting. It's probably <coughs> picked off from a different account. Uh, there shouldn't be any wages of part time wages in that in that department. There are no people in there. So therefore I believe I would have to get back to you the next time and give you a and tell you where that do those dollars actually belong, and I didn't pick up on that one. Yeah. So we'll be we'll be taking that out of the actuals then. I will I will review those for the financial statements, and it, and I will put them in the correct place. Okay, thanks. Yep. Um, the printer that we're talking about is a multifunctional printer. It's a printer scanner. Yes. Yep. And uh, the printer is currently functioning. Is that correct? Yes. But it's costing, and that's the other thing. You know, we're, we're paying. Approximately eight hundred and twenty-five dollars a year for service on that unit that we have now. So, so with it, with an upgrade, it, and uh, it's going to cost us less per year for service. Obviously. How much less? And w well, we've got the three-year 
that it'll be a three year warranty with this this unit. So that means so the service will go down to zero for the next three years? Is that what I'm hearing? Is that reflected in, in the budget, the going down to zero? Well, I've, I've got to put in for what what we have for our current one. Well, the service... If I we get this equipment, yeah, so those other... So when you say well, service, I'm looking under supplies and expenses, right? And yeah, somewhere in here is what you the refer to... supplies, your ox toner. Yeah, which of these sub-items is what you call service? Yeah, the printer maintenance. Printer maintenance printer and maintenance supplies? And supply. That's four six four hundred sixty dollars. And we, sh we share that half the cost with building. This building uses You share the printer? The, the map copier, plan copier with building. The, the printer copier is shared with building, right. But we're talking about the, the printer maintenance. supply. You're saying if we buy the new printer, printer supply should go down $460. Am I hearing that correctly? Well, I'm saying the, the service is going to go down. Well, there I don't see service here. What, what line item is service in? Yeah. Are you seeing it, Joe? Yeah, the, that service, oh, service, the, the Xerox map copy of service contract? Yeah, that. Mm -hmm. Is that the one? Oh, okay. The Xerox map copy of service contract. That's 420. So that 420 will no longer be necessary if we buy this new printer. Right. Okay. And if we if we don't buy this new <coughs> printer, which is still functioning, then what will happen? We'll just not have to pay seven and a half thousand dollars that we were otherwise planning on spending, right? So I don't see the justification for the new printer yet. Maybe you can help me out with that. Well, it doesn't have the scanning capabilities. Scanning. Well, it has scanner. It's a scanner now. It's a printer scanner now. We, what we have now, it does not scan. Oh, it does not scan. Yeah, does okay. Not scan. Did you price out a separate scanning unit as opposed to a multifunctioning unit? No, just a, a multifunctional unit. A, a separate unit would be considerably cheaper, don't you think? Um. Well, but then you got two different things going. When you have two different things, you have you know less breakage but as well. But let me uh, let me ask this. You started a train of thought that I just want to interject because you're uh -huh. trying to get at a value here. Now the the copy of that you have is still functioning. Is that staying in house and going to another department, or does that have some value? Madam yeah. Chairman, Madam Chairman, the current copier is an end of life. That thing is not being supported by the by the manufacturer anymore. If it breaks, it will not get fixed. It will not work. It is going to be junk. So basically, you are at a at, at a terminal point right now with the machine that he does have, and he's asking to replace the printer, but at the same time pick up the additional um, capabilities of being scanning. And currently, we have no way of scanning any documents over the I believe eight and a half by eleven. Now we're talking about the planning department, which has the very large plans. Legal Currently, if the public works department wants to print out a large plan, they go to Kinko's. They have someone drive up there, etc. So there's there's multiple uses of this piece of equipment. So yes, it's an upgrade, but he has a critical situation in his office for what is there now. Well, I I, I digest the critical situation, yeah. and I digest the and accept the need for the scanner, especially because it will enable you to keep your files in a different way and have you have, your, have more space instead of eating up space. But I don't want to see, I don't want to see one of these in every department. So that is to say that now if the Department of Public Works has a need and we see fit to add this to planning, that Department of Public Works will now come and access this this piece of equipment and I won't see one all over the place. And that somebody somewhere <coughs> can actually use, even though it's the end of life on the Xerox, perhaps. No, no value, just junk. It's working today. Sounds like it. Mm. It's, it's not being maintained by the manufacturer, so therefore if it right. stops, <coughs> it isn't okay. going to move again. I'll move on with that one. Well, uh, Back to Tim. If the if we go with the current uh, printer, which does not have a scanner on it, correct? Right. Right. 
and you have a need for a scanner for you, I mean you haven't used a scanner before apparently since you don't have one and suddenly you need a scanner why why the new need for a scanner well like I said we have all our, our development plans are stored in map file big metal files that are in the office now so you plan on scanning, scanning in, but basically you're, you're, you're talking about you know getting rid of paper, rid saving of paper space, and that's why we want to use the scanner. Mm -hmm. Okay, got that piece. Also, to allow all the new plans coming in to be scanned right in. Got it. Yeah, got it. So the the only thing I see here, um, I mean, I see the need for the printer scanner. I'm not quite sure that a multifunction is necessary. It might be better to go, but I'm not going to get into that kind of uh, multi, uh, micromanagement stuff. But I do see that this $420 uh, line item for a Xerox service contract, according to what Jamie's saying, for three years, we won't need that line item at all. Is that correct? Probably not. Yeah, I'm just looking at what uh, the replacement ink cartridges. Well, that's a different sub line item. I'm talking about the sub line item that says Xerox S service sir. contract. That that's going to go away because we don't have a Xerox first of all, and, and we're on a three-year contract, so we don't need that subline item anymore, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there any other subline items that we will not need as a consequence if we buy this new printer scanner combination? Well, Xerox toner, I assume, maybe going to need well, toner again. Toner, but how much? Uh, is yeah, the toner? I, yeah. I, I would suspect that you'd have to just change the, the name from the Xerox to Canon. Go away. You're going to need a Canon service Xerox contract. Xerox map copier Canon service toner. contract. That 420. Okay. So we. That's the one that was. Okay. The other ones are, you know, we have printer, small office yeah. printers. Did you did you examine the the change in the toner mm -hmm. costs from our current printer to the new printer? Right. Did you examine that cost? Did you make appropriate adjustments for that? <coughs> yes. You did. Yep. Okay. Yep. Thank you. I have no further questions. Okay. I have no questions. No question, just a simple statement. Any copy, I, I don't know of any copy that lasts nine years without yep. simply imploding on itself. <laughs> to me, it's a moot mm -hmm. point. Planning, zoning, legal, my Lord, $7,000 for the work they do, for the litigation they deal with, for the money they save us. End of story. Let's go. We can't be penny wise and pound foolish. These people need to have their documents ready to go at a moment's notice. That's my story. Okay, I don't have any questions. No questions. I agree with what Patrick said. And I think that in view of storage in the future, when we see these equipment needs come before us, they should have scanners. It'll save us a file clerk down the road. David? No questions. Nope. None. I'm all for it. Yeah, I was just wondering, have you considered leasing equipment copiers? Because that will save a lot of headaches, because I'm sure the, the equipment in the, in the mm -hmm. town breaks down quite a bit. Most copiers do. You know, and if it's leased equipment, they come out and take care of it. Have you considered it? I, you know, I didn't, but, you know, we, we feel this is the best, the best fit. Yeah. The department. Well, you could <coughs> the other departments can be happy to lease it to you. Yeah. <coughs> Mark? No questions. I own my car. I don't no questions. Madam Chair, I would like to amend this motion since Jamie has reported to us we'll no longer need the sum line item for the service contract of $420. I'd like to reduce <coughs> the motion by $420. Which would give us. 125381 correct no no, no. that's planning no. and zoning no, no. Yeah. oh all right i'm sorry no we got to go back sorry. to the 81 no, motion is 8198 8, 8, so minus minus 420 would, would be 81478 right. my grammar school arithmetic still functions mine <laughs> <laughs> so that's my motion could i get a second i'll second it Thank you, Stephen. Okay. All those in favor of the amendment to reduce four hundred and twenty dollars for a bottom line of eighty-one thousand four hundred and seventy-eight. Any discussion on the amendment? Or? I think we've killed it. 
Well, you, you, right. you're going to need a service contract, whether it's Xerox, Canon, or right. whoever. So, uh, so it comes, it comes, comes with it. As long as the machine, as it, as long as the machine is still that, running, it has well, to be serviced. He may not spend the 450 bucks because the machine may die tomorrow. But while it's still up and operating, he's going to need money in the budget. Okay. This is does I, I think we're micromanaging. Yeah. The gentleman yeah. just said. Excuse me. <laughs> the gentleman <laughs> just said he doesn't need the item. I'm only checking okay. out what the gentleman said. All right. Now, we're not right. going across the table. All right. When it dies, that tells you you need something new. I can't see spending any more money on something that isn't working. So going back to the amendment that was seconded, everybody in favor? <coughs> okay. Mr. Bean? <coughs> We're taking a vote. Can you be part of it? Thank you. <laughs> Just waiting for things to calm down. Oh, sure. it, it calmed down. It's all right, Carl. All right. Everyone, keep your hands up. In Those in favor of the, of the amendment. Okay. Those opposed? Okay. Got that? All right. The amendment carries. With that, we're going to take a break for 10 minutes. Can we just do the final one? The bottom line. Yeah, we're going to move the bottom line. All right. So the total, can I have a motion for the bottom line? Which is? Which would be total? Um, $81,478. What is it, Mike? $81,478. <laughs> There'll be enough left in the budget. Yeah. All right. All those in favor? Hello, everybody. In favor. Mark, Ginny. Okay. Anyone opposed? This is going to be the Dick is opposed. I opposed. Not you, Richard. <laughs> when you, when you look okay. at this, I'm not to say anything. You guys are eating up your break time, 10 minutes. Thank you. <laughs> Which has it in?